my friends hello to all of you I love you guys for those of you that were worried for my channel well this copyright strike will expire in about 87 days um, they didn't retract it no it is what it is it's just one copyright strike I will look more carefully next time we're learning always in life the hard way well it is what it is I know God is with me and I know you guys are with me and there are so many that supported me through this all I don't want to mention names because I'm afraid I might forget someone as I haven't made the list with people that send me encouraging messages prayers for me so if I miss anyone most probably whoever I miss in mentioning they will get upset so I don't want to mention anyone but you guys know who you are thank you so much and I feel your love. Carry on sharing content. And I know this content is safe. I'm going to send you always to the source. Where you can see the complete interview or the complete uh, message. <laughs> this is a round table with Jonathan, uh, with producers um, of uh, Heart of Servant, uh, the Father Flanagan story. Uh, you're gonna see this is just a, a section uh, an extract about roughly six seven minutes with Jonathan speaking there but if you want to see the whole thing don't worry I'll provide the link uh, where uh, you can see everything not just uh, the intervention of Jonathan but uh, again another disclaimer this is not a complete intervention of Jonathan. I just choose about six, seven minutes with him speaking. Um, for all of you fans, for all of you, those that love God, Jesus, those that love the chosen, those that love Jonathan Rumi and his projects. And he is involved, as you see, in many projects that don't do nothing else but honoring God. To bring awareness about Father Flanagan, I know some of you Protestants might say, oh, he's a Catholic. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Protestant, Catholic, whatever. If we love God and we do something for our fellow man, deserves to be brought in attention. Even if you are in a group that is uh, having unorthodox Christian teachings, I'm going to give you a shout out on this channel because what I care here is making a difference and underlining those that care about their fellow man. And Father Flanagan is someone that, well, we could learn a lot from him. He cares so much for those that at that time they didn't have a voice. <laughs> the orphans. Orphans, they don't have such a strong, powerful voice in society even now. Imagine him doing what he did uh, in those incipient years of uh, care for children, Father Flanagan fighted against many, many ills of that age, including racism. The fact that society was so divided by color, by creed, by religion. Father Flanagan didn't care about the color, didn't care about the cultural background of those kids. All he cared about is how to make a difference in their life. How to bring them closer to God. How to show them love. And uh, God was with him. God bless his efforts. And he managed to put together the town boys. That place in which uh, regardless of their uh, color, uh, cultural background, they came together as one and they showed all the world that there is possible, where is Jesus as foundation, there is possible to do everything in this life. If we don't have Jesus as foundation, then friends, if exactly the opposite happens, we cannot do much. Whatever we do without God as the center of our life, it's not going to last. It's going to last only a little while and then it will collapse and its collapsing will be great. Remember that story in the Bible? The true story, really. <laughs> well, it has a, a powerful apply in our life. If we build our house on the sand, 
or when the winds and the storms are coming, the house will fall apart. If we build our house on a rock, then our house will stand no matter the storms of life. It's always like this, friends. Do you realize this? And I repeat this to myself as well. We rely on this world. We build our life on our emotions. We build our life. We build our ministry. We build our business, our work. Whatever we do, we build on the values of this world, on our own emotions and understanding. It's called a collapse. It will fall apart. Father Flanagan built on Jesus, that's why what he did there lasted and impacted so many people. And it still impacts today. And it's a powerful example for us today to carry on doing the right thing no matter the opposition. And when you do the right thing, brother, sister, when you do the right thing, you will have pushback. Maybe many times from people that you dearly love. Because uh, when you do the right thing, you are on God's side. And people, people, the world do not understand God's side. They only going to see their own side. And our heart, our human heart, our side, our human side is tainted by selfishness, by ugliness, by wickedness. This is our heart. Prophet Isaiah, Prophet Jeremiah. How many prophets, how many men of God underline this powerful truth? That our heart, our human nature, needs desperately God. Take a look at this uh, intervention from Jonathan Rumi. Just a section, just an extract. And uh, be blessed. And if you want to share this video, if you want to subscribe, why not? I'll be more than happy. Thank you again for all your prayers. God bless you, friends. And see you after this video for a final comment. Three, two, one. If you want to stand up for what you believe is right, you won't be popular. They tried to get in his way. It was not subtle. There were threats made upon his life. Father Flanagan lived his life by a simple principle that we are all children of God and it is our responsibility to care for one another. All hell literally break loose because of what he's doing. Father Flanagan really did give everything he had. There was no other choice for him but to save those kids. Hello, welcome everyone. I'm behalf of Columbus. <laughs> Delighted to be with you, gentlemen, and with everyone online. This, so I've gotten to see the movie. It's fantastic. Congratulations to all of you uh, and for this cause. I thought maybe where we could start, and maybe we'll start with you, Jonathan, is just why Father Flanagan? And there's a story there, I'm sure. You know, when the film came to me uh, with, with the uh, possibility of getting the opportunity to narrate it, um, you know, I did, I did what I think anybody would do prior to um, committing to a project with prayer and discernment, I watched the story. I, I, I basically took in the story to see if it was something that I, I would resonate with. And I mean, it was impossible for me to not get involved after watching the film. I mean, the film is just beautifully done. Um, it's a beautiful portrait of this man's life and his ministry and his mission. Um, and the nature of his mission spoke so clearly to me um, I have a heart for, for children and the youth myself and, and um, the importance of, of raising children um, with the love of Christ in their life uh, is something that just really, really, uh, you know, affects me on a profoundly spiritual level. And uh, he, I mean, he, he uh, Father Flanagan's story just made it um, obvious that like I had to be involved and I had to see um you know, how I could contribute to, to his cause. It refers to the popularity of, of sometimes doing, was it the right thing? Um, uh, it's not always, uh, it's not always popular to, to kind of share 
the truth with people because sometimes the truth can be, um, um, you know, it can be kind of divisive in a way that people then have to introspectively decide, are they living according to the truth and whose truth are they? Are they living according to God's truth or man's truth? And I think Father Flanagan lived devoutly to God's truth. And for society at that time, um, it wasn't always an easy thing to do. And, uh, you know, I, I think for myself, um, becoming more vocal as not only a Christian, but specifically as a Catholic, uh, as a performer in entertainment, w which is, you know, for the most part, an industry where people kind of discourage you or dis try to dissuade you from um, speaking into faith uh, on any level. Um, I, I, you know, years ago, I had um, a former um, representative uh, to even speak to me about, you know, downplaying um, a conversation we were having that, that was faith related. And I knew that this person was a person of faith and they, they discouraged me from even, you know, talking about faith to anybody in the business because of, of how kind of taboo it was. Um, but I didn't really care because I had seen uh, when I started to really become vocal about my faith in, in, in my life and on social media channels, um, I had already experienced God's providence at, through my obedience to committing to him, to commit to, to prayer to um, contributing vocally and very intentionally um, with my faith to, to, to share that with other people. The Holy Spirit put it on my heart to share the, you know, the simple act of prayer, um, praying the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And happy feast day, by the way, to all the Catholics out there. Today's the Feast of St. Faustina. Um, and, uh, and then subsequently the Rosary. And so, um, you know, I had seen my life transformed by having that sense of obedience to this truth that the Holy Spirit was causing, was, uh, you know, compelling me to, to share with people. So uh, seeing that in a, in a different way, but still um, essentially the, the, the truth of, of Father Flanagan's obedience to the Lord to help these kids and to find any way he, he could to do it was something that struck me, you know, very, very viscerally. You know, it struck me it comes down to completely, uh, I think it comes down to completely opening up your heart to another human being um, in the way that, that Jesus would. And, um, you know, opening your heart to Jesus, who's, you know, part of the triune God of the universe in a way where you, there's an amount and an intensity of love exchanged with that person and for that person that uh, I mean it's no wonder that he was named next of kin by all these kids that went off to serve in World War II um, as as their father you know uh, as their 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 surrogate father um, he had such an abundance of love for these children and for their well-being and for their success as as members of society, uh, and I think that's what that means. That that's what it uh, that's what it means to me to, to hear that, to see that in somebody else, and to to be able to just connect with somebody on a level, whether or not you know them, whether or not you just met them five minutes ago, um, is that you have an open spirit, you have an open heart, ready to receive whatever it is that uh, the Holy Spirit is trying to, you know create whatever encounter the Holy Spirit is trying to create between you and, and somebody else for whatever reason. I think that's what that refers to. That That's how I interpret it anyway. Friends, friends, beloved friends, that's all I have for you now. I love you all. God bless you. Stay close to Jesus. And you can make a difference as well in someone's life. Even if that's a micro level, don't think that you are too insignificant or too small to make a difference. Love you all, friends, and thank you for.